Hello and greetings from very bipolar Finland and by bipolar I mean the weather. This morning when I woke up the ground was all white and if you look at it now doesn't look all that winterish although it's well it's spring now but still. This was a weird well I can't even say winter basically because uh, first came autumn then came darkness and now it's like this so winter forgot us this month or this year oh, so doesn't look like winter wonderland it hasn't been that way the whole winter but still I'm on my way to the grocery store because of the femmes of the family decided that they want to have potato chips and dip so off I go and I also have some other things like milk ketchup whatever I don't remember the whole list but uh, then my daughter asked me to bring her some black sausage and I was like okay well for the uh, black sausage is the uh, direct translation I think for most people who are speaking English it's known as blood sausage and since we have uh, uh, blood pancakes here made from pig's blood and she likes those I don't think that blood sausage is too big of a leap for her I think she asked she asked me to bring it because uh, she has never tried it so off I go and this is my last day off I had three days off from work and I've spent those days playing recording trying to work out the ideas and whatever and occasionally playing cover songs and there are what for two reasons. One, when you're struggling with your own ideas and your own things, it's fun to play something that's already finished. And second thing is that by playing simple arrangements, just one vocal, one guitar, uh, you can try to figure out why these songs are popular, if you play popular songs, that is. It can be, you know, cult hit, minor hit, or smash hit. You can try to work out why is this song, what 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 made this song to be a hit. I mean, was it the lyrics? Was it the uh, melody? Was it the combination of two? And uh, well, it doesn't work all that great for metal because it's based on drums and guitars. And uh, well, let's take an easy example. Mm. Take one vocal, one guitar, and play Enter Sandman as a uh, singer-songwriter arrangement. Well, it's doable, but doesn't, something's missing. Something's missing. Now try to add some kind of rhythm, or some way. You can drum to your thighs, or you can use bongo drums, or if you have a drum machine, and just add a simple do, do, da, do, do, da, do, do, da, do, do, da. And now play it again, on top of that. The drive of the song changes. I mean, yes, it's still acoustic. It's still, it still doesn't sound like the original, but the whole drive changes. And that's because hard rock and metal are based on drums and guitar riffs. So once you add some kind of a beat, some kind of a distinctive rhythm, it gives a whole new life to a song. And that's why I like playing cover songs acoustically. It can be almost any song, as long as I can play and sing at the same time. And it's fun. And uh, while well, talking about playing, uh, while talking about playing, I got my uh, tax return paper yesterday. And I'm getting, uh, was it almost 900 euros as tax, re tax returns. And uh, well, the payday is still four months away but if I don't have anything where I need that money right then I can get some new gear or well I can replace some gear I need a, uh, a new sofa guitar because that plug black black Williams you've seen is pretty much well, it needs a replacement, let's put it this way. It was cheap when I got it, and it sounded, it sounds cheap, but it's starting to break up or break down. 
and uh, I don't really want to take it to the uh, guitar repair shop just because it was so damn cheap so repairing it yay I'd rather get something that's a bit more better a bit better some bit bit better build quality and then I can finally get a Telecaster I was I've been looking at a uh, Squire once simply because I needed I need a, a left-handed guitar that that's not all that expensive because I'm going to be modifying the heck out of it what comes to the internals because I need different kinds of uh, what are those capacitors or whatever I want to get a certain tone so I don't want to get something that's even somewhat expensive and that's how it is with all of my electric guitars and my basses also. I've bought something that's cheap and I've modified it. Because the uh, wood parts on those are usually good quality, but it's the uh, electronics that are kind of so and so. So I've replaced them. And so I uh, will this time. But there's one thing I won't be changing and that's the uh, bridge pickup. Because I happen to like the uh, sound of regular Telecaster bridge pickup. So let's see. The cheapest brand I was able to find, 8 euros. She'll better eat this because I won't. I got a question about the uh, cover songs I sometimes add to these videos. And the question was, why is the audio quality so bad? I mean terrible was the precise word that was used. I'm constantly talking about uh, recording and audio gear, music in general. So don't I know how to record properly? Well, I do, but you have to know the uh, circumstances those cover versions are recorded. So, when I'm playing at home, I have my notebook next to me and uh, this uh, Zoom H1 on a stand in front of me, ready to go. So if I come up with something worth remembering, worth remembering I can write it down or I can record it right there and then. So if, if I want, if I decide that uh, I want to add music to these videos, it's all about just grabbing the nearest camera around, usually it's this one, this is about almost 10 years old Samsung camcorder. Set it up on a tripod somewhere and then just record. So the, those versions are not the kind of videos that you see on YouTube where the whole video is a cover of a song or it can be original doesn't matter but still in my videos those clips are well I'm capturing something I would have done anyway so the uh, quality is what it is so it's I could use a, uh, a dual microphone setup one mic for the uh, guitar and one for the vocals but uh, I don't like planning ahead and I don't like no, putting too much into something because that's not what my channel my videos is about it's just capturing moments in time not planning and doing these kind of a uh, even somewhat bigger productions so it's now it's now 5 p.m. and I think I'll spend rest of this evening playing Destiny 2 I bought the season pass, but I need to grind. I need to grind. I think I'm at season pass level 40. 40 something, not too far from 50. I think it's 48 or something currently. And uh, well, some people don't like this kind of a seasonal model that uh, Bungie has with Destiny 2, but I kind of like it. And most complaints are about uh, the uh, seasonal events being too similar. Well, <clears throat> it's a loot shooter. It's a grinding game. So if you want them to add a new DLC, a new big DLC every three months or even every six months, you're a lunatic. It takes a lot to do. And I'm happy with these kind of uh, new events. Although if they are similar, well, who cares? It's something new to do. And uh, I've also heard people saying about Destiny 2 is that there's a lot to do but no reason to do it. Well, 
to me personally, the reason is reason to do something is that there is something to do. So, and obviously, I'm not a hardcore player. I'm not one of those. <clears throat> I'm not one of those. <laughs> when new season hits in about 48 hours, they are at season rank 100, and then they're complaining on the forums that there's nothing to do and this is planned and. <laughs> I'm taking it slow, and since one season is three months, 90 days, I'm not in a hurry. Obviously, you can burn, you can burn through the content, and then complain that there's nothing to do. But that's you did it, not me. So I'm gonna do that. And by the way, talking about uh, unplanned cover songs. child gonna walk with a drum beat behind locked you in a dream never let you go never let you laugh or smile not you well I just wanna walk right out of this world Cause everybody has a poison heart I just wanna walk right out of this world Cause everybody has a poison heart Making friends with a homeless Torn up man He just kinda smiles It really shakes me up There's a danger in every corner But I'm okay Walking down the streets Trying to forget yesterday Now I just wanna walk Right out of this world Cause everybody has a poison heart I just wanna walk Right out of this world Cause everybody has a poison heart Poison heart Poison You know that life really takes its soul. And the poet's got reaction Is to search his very soul There's so much damn confusion Before my eyes But nothing seems to face me And this one will survive Now I just wanna walk Right out of this world Cause everybody has a poison heart I just wanna walk Right out of this world Cause everybody has a poison heart Poison heart Poison heart Poison heart